Perfect. What's going on everybody? This your boy James from What's Your Forte and today we are going to be coding my 435. So this is my first time coding my 435. Um, I've never coded a BMW before so I'm be going through this whole process with you guys today. All right. So bear with me if there's any rookie mistakes or anything like that. I'm doing this straight for you guys. All right. So my mistakes you can learn from and you want to do the same. All right. So maybe asking what are some things you need to code your bmw so the first thing you're going to need is the beamer code app you can download this app in that if you have a apple iphone you can download it in the app store if you have a samsung or google you can go to google play um so that's the first thing you need the second thing you need you're going to need some type of bluetooth module i have this v peak obd check ble adapter so I was able to order this adapter from my guy Thick F30. Um, he had posted on one of his Instagram stories. Matter of fact, go follow, subscribe, like his videos as well as mine. Um, and I was able to order this off a link he had posted on one of his Instagram stories with like a discount code on it. Not sure if it's still there, but if you check out his website, you can definitely take you straight to the link. So I was able to get this Bluetooth adapter from him. It was a, it was around it was in the twenty twenty dollar range or something like that. So nothing nothing expensive whatsoever. All right, so told you what you need. You need an app, you need a Bluetooth module, something for the app and your phone to connect to. I'm actually gonna be doing my install using my iPad because I video with my phone, so can't video and do a screen sh um, share for you all, screen recording for you all so y'all can see exactly all the steps. So today I'm gonna start with something very simple since this is my first time ever coding a BMW and I'm just gonna code my side mirrors. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be coding these side mirrors. What I wanted to do is when I lock my car, I wanted to fold the side mirrors automatically. Right now, you have to manually fold them in in my BMW 435. So I can kind of show you what that looks like here. So right now, as you can kind of see here, they're sticking out. So if I want them to fold, like I say, if I park and I'm parking close, so I just don't want nobody to touch my mirror when I'm parked, I have to hit this button, which I will show you this button right here. So if I hit this button and I bring the camera back out, it folds the mirrors right in. So what I wanted, what I'm gonna code in my car is to have it do that automatically as soon as I lock the car. Um, I had this feature on one of my other previous cars and I loved it. And when I got this car, I was like, come on, it's got it's manual come on but you know at least we have this beamer code um software where we can code it into our car to uh so we can have it now all right so right now let's see what's in this v peak obd check box so open the box here i right, got a welcome guide welcome kit and nice little container here open it up and look what we have here that plugs right into your OBD feels kind of plastic but doesn't feel too too bad but it's gonna get the job done so that's all that matters all right so now we're gonna plug this V peak Bluetooth adapter and we're gonna plug it up right let's see if i can get it's in this back corner right there right there so we're gonna plug that into there plugged in and you can kind of see right there there's a blue light that's on that's a good indicator that lets you know that hey it's hooked up and a bluetooth is going so now let's go ahead and get back to the beamer code app and see what the next steps are all right, so now we're on my tablet and we're looking at the Beamer Code app homepage. So what I'm going to do first is go over. You have to purchase the full version to do all the stuff that we're going to be doing. So as you see here, you click on the full version there. You click, it's going to prompt you to pay for it, you know, whichever way you pay. This is an older tablet, so I'm using the Touch ID, not Face ID on the new ones. It's processing the payment, $31.99. You saw it there. So payments being processed. Now it says we're all set. Great. So now we should be able to go back to the home page of the app there and we should be able to hit connect. 
All right, everyone. So little disclaimer, if y'all see me start to sweat, it's because it's like 95 degrees today in North Carolina. So I hope y'all appreciate me doing this suffering in this heat for y'all. So hold on, let me make sure I'm good. But uh, <laughs> but uh, all right, let's go ahead and get, get to coding. So as you see on the screen here, I'm doing a screen share from my tablet that I have in my hand here. So right now we're on the Beamer Code homepage. So it's it. so the Bluetooth module's in and let's hit connect. Um, let's see. Then you see the adapters that are up here and it shows that it's a VP OBD check BLD. So we'll click on that and then hit continue. All right, now it's gonna ask you what type of series vehicle you have. I have a BMW 435, it is a F32. So I'm gonna click on the BMW 4 Series M4. I selection there, then hit connect. All right, now Beamer Code's doing this work. Now my car is not on right now, so I'm gonna see, okay, so there we go. It says, please check the ignition is switched on. All right, so you do have to have the car on. So like I said, I'm doing this, this is my first time doing it, so I'm learning as you all learn. So let me go ahead and just hit the ignition on. So let's try this again. Four series that's already connected. All right, read and then. Okay, so it's doing this thing here. So, so far, so good. Doesn't seem too um, tough so far. I mean, I've seen other people do it. I've seen other um, YouTubers or other BMW enthusiasts do this coding and they all make it seem very, very easy. So, um, Hopefully we don't run into any issues. I don't foresee doing any issues. I've coded other cars before, just not BMWs. I know BMWs can be a little, little particular. So hopefully we don't run into any issues. So right now, this is the first time it's ever connected. So it's probably taking a lot longer. Probably after I have it initially set up, it'll probably be a lot quicker to connect. But um, like I said, today, we're just gonna do something very, very simple. Um, which is coding the side mirrors, which is what I said before. I'm just waiting, waiting. All right, so now it's giving me a lot of different options here. It says active sound design, advanced crash safety module, air conditioning, front air module, headlight. So it has a lot of different options here. So let's go to if I remember correctly, it was in the comfort access. Like I said, this is my first time doing it, so we're all we're gonna learn all this together. So, uh, front electric module. Let's see what that is. This sounds like it should be it. If I remember correctly, I think this sounds like it should be it. Like I said, it's a learning experience. Never done this before, so I'm kind of doing this blind. Um, I want to give you all a real, true experience. You know, I'm not afraid to mess up on camera or go through all this with you all on camera because you may be doing the same thing yourself. So I just wanted to give it to you real, give it to you raw, no unedited at all that. So we're going going through this process together. So appreciate you bearing with me. Coding is taking a little while, a little long. It's probably doing this because it's the first time it's ever done, ever been connected to the car. So hopefully when I go back in this to do other different types of coding, um, it doesn't take this long. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here. So this should be it. So let's see, we got ambient lighting, angel eyes, audio, auto start stop brake force display convenience open and closing here we go so let's see convenient open and closing delay closing with comfort access daytime running lights we got doors and windows window lifter time until unlock headlight cleaning indicators lighting mirrors there we go so let's go to let's go to fold unfold mirrors automatically. So it says the mirrors are folded automatically when the car is locked. 
with the remote control or comfort access and unfold it again when the car is unlocked. Please note that your car has to be equipped with power folding mirrors for this option to work. So my car is, so let's hit active. All right, so we'll go back. Like I said, that is exactly what we were looking to do. So, all right, now that we are done with that, let's hit code. All right, got an important note pops up here. Please note that the coding process should not be interrupted. Ensure sufficient charge of the battery, Apple device, vehicle battery, adapter should not be disconnected. Before coding, make sure your airplane mode is enabled if you are using a Bluetooth adapter. Then make sure to disconnect any additional Bluetooth connections, including the Bluetooth connection to the iDrive system in the car. So I'm using my tablet, so that is not connected to um, the Bluetooth in the car. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, it does say make sure it's in airplane mode. So let me just do that because it's telling me to do it. Oh. So I go to airplane mode, but I lose Bluetooth connectivity. So now I had to connect back to it. See, I wish it would have kind of told us that before we went to there. So now let's see what we can. We got to reconnect. Like I said, it's a learning experience. I want y'all to see this too because you may go through some of the same stuff. I'm just following the instructions and boom, it kicked me right out. Now it's got to identify all this stuff again. So I'm going to go ahead and speed past all this for you all so you don't have to watch all this over again and get back to that screen, all right? Okay, now we're back. So it took about two minutes to get back into where we were right now. So now as you see here, it says mirrors, fold and unfold. I got it in airplane mode. I probably will say now knowing what I know now, start this in airplane mode and just connect it Bluetooth so you don't make sure you don't have no interruptions, especially if you're doing it on your phone. Um, it does say to do that. You saw what happened when I hit airplane mode. I wasn't thinking, I forgot that. Airplane mode shuts everything off, so I had to redo everything. Like I said, it's a learning experience. I want y'all to, I want to make these mistakes so y'all don't have to. All right, so mirrors. So we're gonna fold, unfold. Uh, we're gonna make this active. We already kind of seen what it said there. And that's all I want to do right now. So we're gonna hit code. Um, we already read this disclaimer, so let's hit start coding. So now it's preparing the coding. Um, one thing I probably should have done was attach my seatbelt. I know when you do tunes on these cars, they have to always tell you to put your seatbelt on because um, I guess it can drain the battery. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. Now it's going through. We're getting some issues. It's just resetting the ECU. So we're going to um, having those issues there. So right now, coding successful. The coding of the control unit completed successfully please turn the ignition off and on again all right so i'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna put this tablet down and let's turn the car off cars off then let's turn it back on i just want to make sure no kind of weird anything is on um no rear lights nothing's on so now let's go ahead and see if these mirrors fold when we lock the car all right everyone so i'm outside the car I got the keys in my hand, so let me go ahead and lock the car door, and let's see what happens. Boom, look at that. Windows folding in. Man, that's like magic. Let me unlock the car. Man, that is great. I just want to see that one more time. Just, 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 just cuz, just cuz. Unlock. Ooh, we done some coding today. All right. All right, everyone, I hope y'all definitely enjoyed that video. Like I said, it's hot out here. I'm about to go into the house, um, but hope y'all enjoyed that coding video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these coding videos. If there's anything particular that you would like to see me code, um, please comment down below and let me know, and I will definitely do it for you all. Um, but I got coming soon, I'm doing a review on the Eco Pro to see if it's really worth it. So that's going to be coming soon too. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell, and so you can stay up to date on all the latest content. I know y'all see this sweat dropping down. Ooh, but thank God I got this fan right here, you know, to help me out. But, um, uh, but that's all I got today. I hope y'all like this video. Hope y'all, now y'all can know how to fold your mirrors in and code it into your BMW. All right. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.